Praise the Lord. We're here at WLJC, and this is a room where we uh, answer the phones and try to help people get on a way that they need to get on. You know, I believe what will make it work is when people are downstairs singing and the people up here answering the phones. You know, the Bible said right there in Matthew 9, 37, the field is white to harvest and the labors are few. You know, I thank God for every one of you out there that's supporting WLJC because this is a lighthouse up on a hill. God bless you and keep backing up WLJC. WLJC welcomes you to have church with us for the next 90 minutes during the hour of harvest. Call in your prayer request or praise report now. The WLJC prayer team is standing by to talk and pray with you. We have some very special musical guests here this evening to share in song the good news of the gospel. So sit back, relax, sing along, and join in with us as we pray for you and the needs of all our viewing audience. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. Live from our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. And welcome to the service tonight from our WLJC studios in Beattyville, Kentucky. We have some wonderful singers with us tonight, and we know you're going to enjoy them. We have good phone operators, and uh, we have some good things to tell you, and that is that the Lord loves you, and He understands you, and He cares when no one else cares. He does. And so there's one scripture in Psalms 107 that has uh, uh, three, uh, four, verse, four verses that are the same. It says that all that men would praise the Lord for His goodness and for His wonderful works to the children of men. And that's what we want to do at WLJC is to tell the good news and what all the Lord, the wonderful things. We heard a wonderful testimony right before we went on the air of someone they thought they'd given up with cancer, but the Lord has healed him and he's going to be fine. And so we are really serving a, a true and living God. And you know, this is the whole purpose of WLJC is to get the gospel out. And it takes a lot of things though put together to see this happen. And I might uh, want to share with you that, uh, uh, you know, we, uh, the last two telethons, we've actually had uh, uh, raised money to, for the high definition uh, expansion. And so, uh, WLJC will begin the process of converting over to high definition during the first week of July. We're working with the contractors to reduce the amount of time needed to be off the air. We have scheduled most work to occur during, during the overnight period. The entire project will take approximately only one week. However, most of that week we will still be broadcasting. Stay tuned for more updates and please remember WLGC in your prayers. And that brings me to another thing. We had a serious uh, lightning strike, which, you know, with these big towers up in the air, it's like up there kind of waving at the electricity to come at us. Uh, so anyway, we had a, a severe uh, lightning strike. It took out one of her satellite dishes. And as of today, uh, the damage, see, it doesn't just hit one part. It hits, uh, it trickles over into all these other things that are connected. And so up today, it's, we've been out like $15,000 of damage that that one lightning strike did for us. So I mean, talk about trying to keep the gospel going is why I'm telling you all this. It takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of prayer, and uh, so I appreciate all of you that care and stand with us. We want to uh, uh, pray right now and uh, get into the music because this is a good group that you're really going to enjoy. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you and we thank you for the good things as this scripture says that we want to tell of all the good things you've done, every soul that has been saved through this ministry, every good deed that has been done, we thank you and we want to share with others. And so, Lord, we thank you for each person that has ever helped or cared or been concerned in any measure. And so we know you're going to supply the needs you have always and you will continue, and we thank you for that. And so, Lord, as we get our mind on the service tonight and on the souls There'll be people listening tonight that will probably never hear another gospel 
uh, in song or spoken word. So, Father, speak to their hearts and help them to make things right with you before it is too late. And we ask for mercy for those that are grieving, those that are hurting, those that are in agony tonight over things that have happened in their life. We pray for mercy and comfort to come to us. Bless and anoint. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, we're so happy to have our friends from over at Frenchburg, Kentucky, the Rhodes Family Quartet. They do have CDs. You can, you can get them and make them sing for you every day, morning, noon, and night. <laughs> and they won't even tire them out. But anyway, the phone number is 606-768-3137. And they're, of course, from the Bethel Baptist Church. So let's welcome right now the Rhodes Family Quartet. <laughs> Praise the 
Blackwood Brothers tune there. Glad to be with you tonight here at WLJC in the studio and uh, hope you've had a good day. As a Christian, uh, it could have the clouds surround you all day, but uh, Christian life is the only way. Amen. Amen. And uh, man, we just appreciate being It's an honor to be here. And uh, call in. Hey, if you got a need, you got a request, uh, call in. We'll try to sing it or whatever. Dad may preach, whatever. We may bring him out of retirement. And, uh, but anyway, uh, Sister Margaret, it's honored to be here tonight. Uh, we just sing songs we grew up with, actually, uh, just uh, sitting around the family room, whatever, just listen to the old LPs and quartet music. And uh, here's one titled The Stranger of Galilee. In fancy I stood by the shore one day of the beautiful murmuring sea. I saw the great crowds as they thronged the way of the stranger of Strange. 
Savior. You know him as your King of kings and Lord of lords. And You know, there's a lot of songs about hillsides. John talks about that pretty regular. A lot of songs about hillsides. I like this old song here. It says, Once Upon a Hill. You know, that's where it all started, but that wasn't where it ended. It didn't end on a hillside. Start at once. 
Rick singing pretty good there tonight. All you guys are doing all right. Here's a song. Uh, it's probably one of the earlier songs that Bill Gaither wrote, and uh, the rest is history, right? And uh, and I think uh, Elvis Presley recorded this and made it a million seller, and I guess that's what got Gaither started. But anyway, I will send this out to uh, Gary and Ruth Prophet. All right, I think they're hopefully they're watching tonight, and uh, so uh, keep them in your thoughts and prayers. So that's what we sing this song. for his touch.
singing it, <clears throat> old Kingsman song, and uh, here's a, so I had it not been, we're going to try that, all right, so Rusty Goodman, I think, had written this song, uh, boy, uh, with a happy Goodman, and uh, they were an inspiration to me growing up, listening to them sing, and just singing that, uh, we're family, and uh, just listen to the family harmony, listen to the Goodman sing, and uh, so anyway, listen to this song, Had It Not Been, I think it's a great song. Had it not been for the plan of salvation, we wouldn't be here tonight proclaiming Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And that's all we're trying to do is share the good news. suppose God had searched through.
think about that. Where would we be today? Where would we be today if we didn't have Jesus Christ? Amen. I don't know what folks do who do not know him. I think about that, all the many troubles and trials that folks are going through life with. We've got a lot of bad things happening over in our community. And I think about that. What do those folks do that don't know Jesus? Who don't know him as their Savior, don't know him as their comforter. He is the great comforter. He can bring he comfort to yeah. you. Not only that, can he comfort you? Better than that, he can save you. He can make you a home in heaven forever. So no matter what happens in this life, you're going to know where you're going to spend eternity. And that's with Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I love the Lord tonight. It's great to be saved. It's great to be up here at WLJC. I enjoy it every time we come. I, and I'm honored to be able to sing with these guys, to sing with this family. I love this family. And they love me. It's, that, that love's not just one way. They love me as well. I love this family, and they love me. And I love our church. I love our pastor, our, our new pastor, Brother Tim. His son is our new pastor there, and I love him, and I love the folks of the church. And most of all, Jesus loves me. Amen. You know, even with the love that we have in the church, the most important love that ever takes place, folks, is the love of Jesus Christ. If you don't know him tonight, Amen. these folks are up here answering the phone. I know Brother Cecil will be happy to talk to you about Accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Here's a song that, man, I've heard it sung. Bluegrass, Southern Gospel. Everybody loves this song. I guess it fits somewhere in there in the Bible where it talks about uh, hymns, psalms, and praises. All right, so somewhere this song fits in there, I guess, on one of those categories. All right. Maybe psalms for bluegrass. Oh, 
you're going to put the tag on it or not, Rick. <coughs> we just follow, follow along, right? <coughs> that's a great song. I guess that's the reason everybody enjoys singing. It's got a great message. It tells you. Keep going with it, don't you? Yeah. <coughs> well, uh, we need to rest our voices. Uh, we we'll let Dad sing. He's the young one of the group. He can, he can like the ever ready battery, right? Just keeps going and going. Here's a song we get a lot of requests for. Mary, let's go in. Take a break. We'll sing another. We'll sing his hymn, one of the most familiar hymns, I guess, uh, in Christianity. All right. Oh Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all. And it died to 
with Christ shall come with shout of acclamation to take me home. The joy will fill my heart. And I but we're going to let them have a chance to uh, get a drink of water and they'll be right back. Uh, the Rhodes Family Quartet from Frenchburg, Kentucky from the uh, Bethel Baptist Church. And uh, uh, we have a praise report here. Um, this is Judy from Fayette County. She said that she'd, she had called here and uh, people had prayed for her and said her seizures has stopped. She's been healed of seizures. So, that, you know, that is that is great. And so she's saying, you know, praise the Lord. So that's what she's happy about. Uh, someone from Richmond said they are really enjoying the music tonight. It's just wonderful. And uh, so there are a lot of them uh, enjoying the music. And we've heard a lot of, a lot of people sing. But and as a matter of fact, I can tell this, those other singers are not listening <laughs> we happened to go over to visit the the Bethel Baptist Church and they had some other singers in and uh, I whispered and told told this group I said well, I'd rather hear you than them because they they did a I thought they did a better job and maybe we're just a little partial but anyway we really enjoy it and uh, I love that song Wayfaring a stranger there a minute ago. You know, that was a song that they sang at, when my mom and dad was baptized down by the creek. Yeah. And so I was, I was thinking about that and and how, you know, a lot of memories come back when you hear all these good songs. And that's what we need. We need to be encouraged. Yeah. And uh, so these folk uh, have all worked today and they're, they're a little on the tired side, I'm sure, but they're have a lot more. So are you ready to go back to singing? Yes. yes. All right. Well, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll just go right back and enjoy it. We hope the message, well, we know the message is positive, and, and we hope you know who we're singing about and uh, what we're singing about. And, uh, you know, if, you're, uh, if you've been touched and uh, maybe Holy Spirit's dealing with you and you may need to call in and, and uh Talk to Brother Cecil and others about uh, if you don't know the Lord as your personal Savior, tonight would be a great time to do that. Right. No better time. And uh, this, uh, you like know, just before you start here on this, I want to just take a moment to say, you know, we got Memorial Day coming up, and uh, and I know that you know, especially the veterans. Let's be sure to remember veterans. And, and I appreciate so much all the veterans that have served the country and and uh, appreciate my brother Willie Wilson here with us tonight. So, And uh, all those guys that, and gals that, that have served the country, we certainly appreciate you. And uh, this weekend we especially remember those who 
who paid the, the ultimate price to help us live a free life that we do today. So, All right. We're going to sing this uh, next song out to Mr. and Mrs. Otis Brown. All right. They, all the way to Korea. Korea. They, all, uh, from Korea, <laughs> Kentucky. All right. They're in Menifee County. All right. And uh, so we'll send Is this that north or South there. Korea? <laughs> well, it's Korea, Kentucky, which is better than either one of them. All right. East Korea. <laughs> yeah. All right. We better get to singing. Yeah. Get in trouble. Margaret, tell us to pack up and leave. Right. I remember the day. No happiness was found with me. I never knew the meaning of joy down in my soul. When at last I finally knelt, content to fill my soul like I never felt. Heaven came down, there was glory all around when He saved my soul. Saved you, right? Uh, shout it to the mountaintops, right? Here's a cathedral song that uh, John gets a lot of requests to do this. All right, we shall see Jesus. We shall see.
happen on hillsides, don't they? Amen. Just like this hillside right here in Beattyville, Kentucky. Right. This hillside with home of WLJC. What a wonderful, wonderful thing that happens every single day from this Amen. mountain, from this right. hillside. And we're thankful for this hillside and those that make WLJC possible. Right. And uh, she's talking about uh, the lightning and some of the equipment and so forth, and then, you know, not only the tower, but then it goes down through the wires and damages other uh, electrical comp components. But uh, I'm just thinking, man, it, it, you know, the Holy Spirit would come down and touch a church. Wouldn't it be nice if it touched someone and just spread throughout the church, right. spread throughout the body of believers, yeah. you know, and, and it can, you know. Yeah. You just ignite one individual could change a community, could, could change a church here's a here's an old tune I when I first heard the choir did this song and dad did the high tenor believe it or not I always loved dad coming out that high tenor but uh, he's had to go down to the to the bass but uh, you can't get any lower I don't guess I guess he's he can he could probably do the high tenor if we ask him I probably could yeah 
we all want to sing like Bill Monroe when I was a kid growing up. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, on this song, this is one of the songs. Uh, my dad, of course, was a preacher and singer, and he taught singing schools around the old singing schools around. They go to churches and. He taught the old shape notes, and this song is out of one of the books he used to teach uh, uh, with the shape notes, <laughs> and uh, the old do re mi kind, and uh, that uh, there wasn't many of these uh, books around, and I'd never heard anyone sing this song but him or those that he taught. Okay. All right, well we'll try it, Mary. I am resting now in his love secure on the mighty arm of God, the mighty arm of God, and my hope in him is supremely sure on the mighty, mighty arm of the Lord. Mighty place to be than on his mighty arm and leaning on him no matter what you're going through in life you can lean on Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior I like this old song right here that says one of these days you know over here you're not always going to be happy 
But now we as Christians ought not be walking around looking like we eat onions either. We ought to be happy. We ought to be the happiest people in all the world Christian people should be. But you know, sometimes the world don't see us that way. We're not the happy people we ought to be in Jesus Christ. And I know sometimes circumstances cause us not to be so happy. But you know, when you got Jesus Christ, you ought to be the happiest person. But I like this old song that says, everybody's going to be happy over there. Well, there's a happy land of promise over in that great beyond where the saved of earth shall soon their glory share. Where the souls of men shall enter and live on forevermore. And everybody's going to be happy over there. Well, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, they'll be singing round that throne in that land where no one ever, ever knows a care. And the Christians of all ages, they'll join in that tribe song and everybody's going to be happy over Voice is getting stronger, I believe. No way. So let's uh, let's try this song. It's the most familiar song we sing, I guess. The marketplace is empty. No more traffic in the streets. All the builders' tools are silent. No more time.
king is coming. Amen. <clears throat> we hope you're ready. Yes, if you're not, hope you're prepared and ready to go. It's the most important thing. And Amen. if you're not, please call in and uh, let the f- folks answering the phone tell you about our Lord and Savior, Amen. Jesus Christ. It's just, it's just a joy to be up here and to play a part uh, in this ministry, this great ministry. Spreading the good news of Jesus Christ, uh, not only in this region, but throughout the world. And uh, uh, hopefully you can support this ministry in whatever way you can. And uh, it's uh, supported by the listeners and those that watch from from time to time. And uh, if you're not supporting the ministry, pl- pre- please pray about it. And, uh, and uh, God might just have you start considering... Giving a gift from time to time to support this ministry. Well, you know, uh, go Sister ahead. Margaret said they had a fifteen thousand dollar need. Yeah. That's right. The Lord may lay it on somebody's heart out there to to uh, supply that fifteen thousand dollar. That's uh, right. So that's right. Uh, here's a song. We're going to send this out to <coughs> Bill and Sis Ledford. They wanted 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 to hear us do this song, so we're going to send this out to them. That'll meet me at the table. Have you made your preparation for the banquet he's prepared? When you've got your invitation, promise me that you'll be there. Can't you hear the master say when it's time to celebrate? Meet me just inside the gate. Meet me at the table. Let the ring of the bread. Meet me over yonder where the millions will be fed. Come and join our celebration. Heaven's wedding bells will ring. Meet me at the table of the king. Well, there's a way that you can make it. The old saint says, don't try to make that promise and don't break it. Then you'll make me pie and fine. Just keep your lamps all trimmed and burning with no shadow of a doubt. For the bridegroom, he's returning. Don't you let your lamp go out. Meet me at the table. job over here on the piano. She's worked all day. Yeah, this is Sister Mary. Glad she's with us tonight. And uh, she does a great job. And her fellows back here, Otis Stevens, glad to have him with us. Paul, you forgot your bow tie. Otis got his on. He didn't. <laughs> all right. And Paul Eggleston playing the old bass there, keeping us going. And Don Lovins, who's absent tonight, he's he's taking a break. <laughs> All right. Let's do this song. This is a, John does a great job in this. Uh, so I don't know the writer. I guess people just come up with these songs. It's just amazing to me how they come with these. I, get, I just visualized heaven and what it would be like. Uh, what heaven would be like. I 
cry holy the angels all met me there they carried me from mansion to mansion and oh the sights I saw I want to see Jesus, the one who died for all. Then I bowed on my knees and cried, Holy, Holy. Blessing to you. Hope we've sung something that'll make you. Oh, okay. Glad to have mom in the studio with us tonight. She made the trip up, and uh, Mary's daughter Laura and others. We got many folks up here with us tonight. Thank you all for coming. And uh, we'll close with this song. I had a request, and we'll try it, Mary. I know you're not prepared, but the kid, the kid G, I haven't changed one all night, so you should be. I think that's where we do it. All right, and uh, we'll send this out to. I'm going to send it out to Marlene Wilson and Big Mike Brown. All right, all right. I was sinking so deep in sin, far from the distant shore. I was staying with sin and sinking to rise no more.
Appreciate so much all the good singing, the Rhodes Family Quartet, and uh, uh, you know there's a great power in United Prayer. So we've Amen. asked Brother Cecil to come over and join with all these men. They're going; they probably won't even need a microphone over there. <laughs> but <laughs> so anyway, they're going. There's going to be a lot of faith here, and so if you've called in tonight, just believe and start looking for your answer. Okay, go ahead over there. You know, as we come before the Lord, you know, uh, everybody's enjoying y'all singing. And here's one from London uh, uh, that uh, Alma has uh, Alzheimer's. But one thing about it, they give their life to the Lord. Amen. 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 That's what it's all about. And here's another one from Lowell County. Her children need to be saved and cancer needs to be healed in that family. And yeah. she gave her life to the Lord. Oh, Amen. Amen. And you know, Sister Mike, there have been so many guys called in tonight had been healed of cancer. That ought to lift yeah, us up. Right. And you know, uh, one of them asked me, said, do you think, uh, uh, you know, it would be wrong to go to the doctor? Well, no, go and let them yeah, check it. Yeah, Amen. Right. And that would be a, a testimony. Right. We've already anointed these. Let's pray. Amen. Fathers, Amen. we come into your loving name. Oh, glory to God, I feel the power, and I know that anointing has been with these singers. And, Lord, I ask you just to bless the rest of them. There's one more out there that needs to be saved, and we're going to call out on your mighty name. Thank you for these souls, Lord, let's pray. Thank you, oh, glory to God, for the healing that you've done. And love does lift us, Lord. I feel that love tonight, and I know it's you. We're counting on you, believing in you. In Jesus' mighty name, through your spirit we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Amen. God. Amen. <laughs> All right. If the if the quartet has any announcements, uh, uh, John, if you have any announcement, church announcements, or anything you want to share while you got a microphone there, go ahead. Come back. Uh, well, we just invite you to our church service anytime. If you look for a home church, and I know many uh, home churches right here at WLJC, but if you if you want to come out and visit with us. With us, we'd love to have you come out. we got 10 o'clock uh, Sunday school, church at 11 on Sundays, evening service at 6, Wednesday night at uh, 6.30, 7 o'clock. And uh, we're located in Frenchburg, Kentucky, on, on uh, Kentucky 36. We'd love to have you. We've got a homecoming uh, second Sunday of August, and then our camp meeting starts the third Sunday. I think it starts on that third Sunday. goes through that week. Pardon? Yeah, yeah, we have stuff to eat, Brother Don. Yeah, we, we'll take care of Brother Don. You come up, we'll, we'll take care of you. But uh, thanks so much, uh, Sister Margaret, for having us and uh, all the folks here in the studios tonight and all the staff. Man, they do a wonderful job. You all don't see them, but they're running around doing all kinds of things, and we you all make it so easy for us to be up here. And, again, this is just a great ministry. And, and one more time. If you're not supporting this ministry financially, we urge that you, you do so. 
please make it a matter of prayer. Thank you. All right, all the good songs you've heard tonight, we'd like to send them out to Fred and Hannah White. If they happen to be listening tonight, I think they do on a regular basis. And uh, But I think Fred has his uh, jail ministry on Thursday night, too, so we might he might have to watch a replay. But uh, do you have a special uh, prayer request for some of your church family? You want to share that? Well, I don't, just uh, Menifee County in general, man. Uh, we've had, a, yeah, the, the county, they've really, it, it, it's been tough over the last, yeah, some tragedies. Families affected, the community, the entire community has been affected. And, uh, yeah, our community needs much prayer. Amen. Okay. All right. Well, the Lord knows all about it, and, and prayer does help and change things. So we appreciate so much this group for coming and we could listen to them for a long time it looks like there's more requests coming in and uh, we sure uh, wish that Ms. Rhodes could have been able to sing tonight but she's right on the front row telling them how to do it that's a, <laughs> that's what made you sound so good David was uh, your mom telling you how so that's great uh, well, there's more prayer requests come in just for sickness and so forth. And so, well, uh, we trust that everyone will stay safe this weekend and not have too much rain. And so you pray for this church and other churches that are winning souls. I like to go to this church because yeah. it's a real, a real humble spirit there, but yet they're getting people saved. They're baptizing them and getting them uh, founded in the word and to where they can last when the storms come. That's what I like. And uh, oh, we should pray for every church that's working because we're only going to have one round at this. You know, it's not like we're going to get to do a retake and we can, you know, when doing recordings, you can always, if you mess up, you can always erase it and go back. But you, we can't in life. we got to make the best of it. Well, you pray for the, all of this uh, church family and their music and so forth. We appreciate you being with us tonight. and. Continue to help us pray for the ministry here. We've got a lot of things ahead of us, good things. So from all of us here in the studio, we want to say good night and God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope you get a blessing every time you watch. This program is available for download on your computer or mobile device at www.wljc.com. WLJC is now available on Roku and Google TV. DVD copies of this program are also available for your contribution of $15 or more. The WLJC programs, including the Hour of Harvest, are brought to you through your contributions of support. All contributions made to WLJC are eligible for income tax deduction. Thanks to all who support us. Without you, our programming would not be possible. If you would like to join our mailing list to receive our free monthly newsletter to keep you informed about what is happening at WLJC, along with our monthly musical guest schedule, call 606-464-3600 or write to WLJC, P.O. Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311. Want to hear from us faster? Join our email mailing list. You can sign up at WLJC.com. It's easy and it's free. May God bless you.
offering His shame.